Okay, this is chapter two, review packet number two. Nikki and Laura are studying for their Math 120 midterm at Laura's house. Nikki leaves at 9 p.m. and heads south. Walking to study 3.2 miles per hour, Laura leaves 1.5 hours later, heading west. Walking to study 3.7 miles per hour, when will the distance between the two girls be 30 miles? So I'm gonna draw this here. So Nikki is heading south. So we're just gonna record all this information. This is Nikki. Uh, KK, sorry Nikki. So Nikki is heading south at 9 p.m. And her rate of travel is uh, 3.2 miles per hour. And Laura heads west. And they're at Laura's house. So Laura is heading west. She's gonna leave an hour and a half later, so at 10.30 p.m., and she's traveling at 3.7 miles per hour. When will the distance between the two girls be 30 miles? So at some point, the distance between the two girls is gonna be 30 miles. We know from here to here, it's gonna be 30 miles. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, we'll call the time um, that Nikki walks and Nikki is walking south. We'll call that time T. So T is Nikki's time. And then an expression for Laura's time. So Laura's time would have to be T minus 1.5. So if Nikki walks for three hours, it would be midnight, and Laura would walk for 1.5 hours, since she's leaving at 10.30. Okay, so here we go. Um, we know the distance that Nikki's gonna travel is 3.2 times her time, so this distance has to be 3.2 T, and Laura is traveling at 3.7, uh, so this distance is 3.2t, and this is 3.7 rate times her time, which is t minus 1.5. Okay, looks easy enough. So we should be able to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have 3.7 times t minus 1.5, that quantity squared, plus 3.2t, that quantity squared, has to equal 30 squared. So let's distribute this 3.7 and we have 3.7t minus 1.5 times 3.7. 1.5 times 3.7 is 5.55, so minus 5.55 squared plus 3.2t squared equals 900. So I need to square this, which is a squared minus double ab plus b squared. So I'm going to do 3.7 times 3.7. So I have 13.69t squared. Double those two multiply together. So 5.55 times 3.7. I'm going to double that. And it's going to be negative. So negative 41.07t. And then plus 5.55 squared. 30.8025 plus 3.2t squared, so 3.2 times 3.2, 10.24t squared equals 900. Let's do a cleanup step. So we got 10.24 plus 13.69, and that's 23.93t squared minus 41. 0.07t plus 30.8025 equals 900. We've got a quadratic. Let's get a zero on the right-hand side, and I think we have to use the quadratic formula here. 23.93t squared minus 41.07t, and I need to take that 30.8025 and subtract 900. I get negative 869.1975.
quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus b, uh, <laughs> b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. 2a. Okay, so let's do it. Um, x equals, or in this case t, t equals negative b, so negative, negative 41.07 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's going to be 41.07 squared minus 4 times a, 23.93, times c, which is negative 869.1975, divided by 2, and the a value is 23.93. All right, let's do it. Negative, negative is a positive. So 41.07 plus or minus the square root of 41.07 squared is 1686.7449. And then I need to do negative times a negative is a positive, times a positive is a positive. So I'm just going to multiply all those together. 4 times 23.93 times 869.1975. So I get plus 83199.5847 divided by 23.9, oops, 23.93 times 2 is 47.86. So I'm going to have 41.07 plus or minus the square root of that one, 1686.7449 plus 83199.5847 equals that number, 84886.3296, all over 47.86. So we have 41.07 plus or minus the square root, so the square root that raised to the 0.5 power. Uh, then I don't need the square root symbol. So I have 41.07 plus or minus 291.3525864 all divided by 47.86. So I'm going to have to use the positive version because time has to be positive here. So 41.07 plus 291.3525864 is that number divided by 47.86 is a time value of about 6.9457. And I am not sure about this, so I want to double check this. So that's the time value, and that's Nikki's time. So Nikki is traveling south, south at 3.2 miles an hour. So if I multiply that with 3.2, that means Nikki's traveled about 22.22 miles. And I'm going to undo that. So there's my time value. And if I subtract 1.5, and then multiply it with 3.7, then Laura has traveled about 20.1492 miles. I'm going to square that. And so that's basically 406. And I'm going to square the 22.22. And that's basically 493. Let's say 494, so 406 plus 494. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Square root of 930. We got it. That first one's done.